Let's take a quick look at how we can use Google's advanced image searching to find just the right image that we're looking for, and how we can embed that image directly into a Google Doc or Google Slideshow using its URL. We'll begin by searching. I'm going to search for Mount Everest. I'm going to click on Images to view the image results. Now, here are dozens and dozens and dozens of images all pertaining to Mount Everest. But let's say I want to filter these results a little bit and be a little more specific. I can click on the Tools button to bring up some additional search options. One of the most important things you should do when searching for images is make sure that you're searching for large images. The reason being, if you were to embed a small, low-pixel image into a Google Doc or Slideshow, it may get pixelated and blurry. So you're better off searching for high-resolution, large photos. You'll notice you can also sort your results by color, so that you see red, orange, yellow, etc. photos. Different types of images, you can look for faces, photos, drawings, etc. You can search by time, so you can see photos that have been posted recently or far in the past. And you can even search by usage rights. Are you allowed to use these or are they protected by copyright? I'm going to go ahead and select an image that I'd like to use for my Google Doc. I'm going to choose this first one right here. Now, let me pop back over to my Google Doc for a minute so we can start to look at what we need to get that image in here. I'm going to click on Insert and then hover over Image, and you'll see some choices here. These represent the different ways we can get the image from our computer into our Google Doc. I can upload it from my computer if I have it saved on, say, my desktop or a thumb drive. I can actually search for the image right within Google Docs. I can access an image from my Google Drive or Google Photos. I can add it using my built-in webcam. Or, what we're going to do today, I can add it using a URL. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to ask me to paste the URL of the image I'd like to use. Now we have to go get that URL. So I'm going to go back to my image here. And here's the one I want to use. A lot of people will mistakenly copy this link right here and use this as the URL. But the problem is, that is not a link to the image. That is a link to the image search. And that's not what we can use here. I need to get a link specifically to this image. And to do that, I just need to click on View Image. And a new tab will open up with that image here. Now I can copy the URL from up here. And you'll know it will be the link to the image itself specifically because it's going to end in .jpg or .png or some other image file extension. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that link. And now I can head back into my Google Doc and paste it. And then I can select Insert, and my image has been inserted. There was no need to download any images to my computer or to my drive. I'm simply pulling them directly off of another website. Please note that this same trick can be used in Google Slides. Hope this was helpful. Thanks.